Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of The Boxing Bookie. We are back with a good one today. Uh, I find that I got the wrong notes. I got to open a giant up a time. Patty Donovan and Lewis Ritson. I find that I'm excited for. Uh, I, I like Patty, Patty Donovan as a prospect quite a bit. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house, how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, join the Patreon as well. The link is in the description. It's also below in the little banner below. Just five dollars a month gets you the lock of the week. Um, gets you the, I'm sorry, it gets you the lock of the week. It gets you a ton of other perks. It's five dollars a month. It has to book you anything. It's a free T-shirt. Well, there's a ton of actual perks. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description as always. Uh, follow me. All forms. Also subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Let's get into this fight. Uh, I think Patty Donovan is one of the top prospects in the sport right now. Undefeated, 13-0, 10 knockouts. Welterweight from Ireland. I, I guess he's going to move forward at 147. That's what it certainly looks like to me. But Southpaw, strategic stalker, strategic stalker, explosive. He's patient and explosive. Lead left hook. The lead left hook. I'm sorry. Lead right hook. He throws. Southpaw. Lead right hook is explosive. It's quick. He disguises it well. I really like it. He's got a nice, long, snappy jab that he uses to kind of control the ring. Excellent footwork. Gets in and out. Works his angles. Gets out of the way. When he gets out of the way, he's in position to counter. He's not out of position to punch. He's still he's always in position to punch, which is what I like about him. He mixes up his levels well. He throws in combinations, quick, quick feet, good angles. There's a lot to like about him offensively. He's a very good good finisher. Really lets his hands go when he's got you in trouble. He's got a really good gas tank. He keeps the volume up throughout the rounds. As far as we've seen, now he hasn't been tested a whole bunch. His last couple of fights have gotten seven rounds, four rounds, six rounds. Uh, he went eight rounds with a guy named Tom Hill back in 2022. Besides that, I, eight is the longest he's gone. I don't expect this fight to really go deep into the fight. I, I Well, we'll get into that in a minute. Closes and, and maintains distance really well. He, he is high IQ guy. Controls the ring, controls the distance. Good movement on the inside. Accurate shots. Mixes up head body, head body, changes his level, changes his tempo. He throws wide shots. The straight left isn't straight. It's sweeping and it's long. And I don't like it. And he throws it a lot. And I don't think Britson's going to be able to do anything about it. But a, a, a top notch kind of puncher, I think, can step inside that, can time it, can throw something short. And land first. He telegraphs. He really telegraphs it. And it, 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 he's got quick hands so he can land it. I, I just don't like that punch. And he throws it a lot. I and Especially when he throws it off the jab. It's just, it's there to step in, go over his jab, go under. Like it's. I think it's easy to counter. Now, Ritson's not that guy that's going to do that. Ritson's not a world-class counter puncher. But that's something to keep an eye on. As he moves up the levels. But Patty Donovan is a top-notch prospect. Like I said, good movement on the inside. He's not easy to hit. Good volume. He can fight at all three distances. Long range, mid range, and in the phone booth. Accurate, quick shots at long range. Long range, I, I like him a lot. Just accurate, quick slicing shots. He's a really, really good prospect. You know, Good enough power to go along with all. I don't think his power is anything. You know, special. It's 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 certainly decent power. Lewis Ritson. What did we like about Lewis Ritson? Remember, it was Lewis Ritson was like a prospect that we loved, and it's not really panned out. Slow, straight in, straight out. He's got limited head movement. He's very easy to hit, and you've seen this with Ponce and and um, 
But Harry Davis, when he's moved up, he's just easy to hit. He's slow, and he leaves himself wide open. He's not a good counter puncher. He's a you go, I go kind of guy. You can overwhelm him. He's not a high volume guy, so you can overwhelm him and outwork him. He's not a guy that's like, okay, he's gonna win fights on the cards. That's not really him. Um, the I'm going through his his fights at the higher level. I don't think his power is great. You know, I'm not saying he's feather fisted. He's not, but he's not a knockout artist either. And you've seen that he hasn't gotten a ton of knockouts. He hasn't knocked out anyone really at a high level. He has a nice, stiff, snappy jab. He fights behind the high guard. He wants to stand in and exchange. That's going to be a disaster with Patty Donovan. You know, more I just look at this, I think Patty Donovan is going to slice this kid up. He's, he's not a great counter puncher. What do we like about him? I'm not trying to disparage the guy. I don't think he's trash or anything, but at this level, when he's being, you know, uh, Robbie Davies, uh, who, who else? Highland, names like that. When he put those wins at PA, it was Paul Highland, Robbie Barrett, Joe Murray, Scott Car- Cardle. Those, those were the names that he kind of ran off, and that was back 2017, 2018, is when we really liked him. Francisco Patera was the loss for the European lightweight title in 2018. That should have been a sign you, you lost to Francisco Patera. That should have been a sign, but we, we, we stuck with this guy. I don't – like, what do we like about him? That he doesn't set his punches up well. He's just flawed. He, he's not – a world level fighter and Patty Donovan is a world level talent. I don't see him really going making much of a fight of this. I, I really don't. You know, uh, Punce stopped him. So teaching that he beat. I gotta go back and watch this. So teaching fight. That's the fight I didn't go back and watch. I want to see how he did that. Shut him out. Is the teacher just completely shot? Maybe. I gotta go back and watch that fight. Well, Howard Davies stopped him. Punce beat him. I watched the Davies fight and the Vasquez fight, and that's kind of the tape I watched on him in preparation for this. I, I don't see it. Like, I think Patty Donovan's gonna stop him. I think he beats him down. He either puts him out cold or you know they they, they stop it from the one sided nature of the fight. But I, I think this is gonna be Pretty one-sided fight. All right, let's just take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're going to make money on this. I do like uh, the fight because I like Patty Donovan, so I'm interested in the fight to see Patty Donovan. But as a competitive standpoint, I don't see this fight. Minus 1,400 That's all we got right now. We're going to bet for Donovan to stop him. Uh, my bet is Donovan stops him. Uh, they don't have the odds out of that. So join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Um, check for this as to be part of the parlay as well. The lock of the week, which is usually a, a three way parlay. I, I want to put this in. I, Patty Donovan, I think, absolutely stops them. They don't have the odds on it. I, I want to take a look at it and see how we're going to bet that to see if they can bring the odds down to like minus 200 for them to stop them, which I think they might, might minus two and change. I'm, I'm interested in seeing that. And that's something I would definitely want to bet on. But we can do a two times bet on this. Two and all bets are only going to make us fourteen twenty eight. Unfortunately, they don't have the props out on this, and I do want to look the look at the props on this. I do. I want to check out the props on this. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. For me, this is easy. This is an easy fight to bet. Let me know what you guys think. Donovan wins on the money line. They don't have the props out. I'm going to like Donovan on the. By stop, by stop it's too. Although they just they don't have it out yet. This is all they got, unfortunately. But they will have it. I'm almost certain they will have props on this as as we get closer to um, fight night. Probably th- Wednesday, Thursday. They'll have a props. My guess is Thursday, and we'll take a look at that. So join the Patreon. I'll tell you. I'll advise you how to make money on that. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Book, you can be actually for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Again, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It is May 20th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you, and God bless.
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.